Hey guys, it's Andrew Escavel here, back with another review, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Finex Stingray LED light system for your aquarium. Now, the Finex Stingray is a fantastic light system that is super thin, and can mount on just about any type of tank you can think of. Now, when you get the Finex Stingray, it comes with uh, these adjustable brackets that are on a rail system that can slide to any position from the very end to as far close to the center as you want on both sides. Now, the bracket system is designed for either rimless, framed like I have it, or it comes with a canopy uh, little bracket that comes separate so you can screw it into the canopy and make it uh, fit nice and perfect. Now, the rimless design has the two 90-degree angles and a plastic screw. Plastic is soft, so it shouldn't damage glass or acrylic. Now, the Finex Stingray, although being very, very bright and power efficient, my 36-inch one right here for my 30-gallon breeder only uses about 17 watts. It's very bright, and it has several colors on it. If you look down here, the reflection, there's the white, the blue, and the red. Now, the blue and the red do two things that the white ones don't. One adds contrast. The other helps with plant growth. Keep in mind, this system is not designed for super complex plants. It's really designed more for simple, low-tech plants. Kind of like this little guy that I got back here. Or my Marimo Moss Balls or even this kind of funny plant that my shrimp all love to chill on. But it does the job, and uh, it also grows algae. So be careful not to leave it on too long, because algae will form, you know, photosynthesis and what have you. The switch system is super de duper basic. It's just simply on and off. So it's got this rubberized coating over it to make sure it uh, doesn't get wet. So that's off that's on and it just plugs in there's no timer there's no different kind of special effects or anything it's basic and that's okay because the price for the Finex Stingray is very competitive if you're just starting to get into the aquarium world it's an absolutely fantastic purchase the price performance is phenomenal if you are interested in wondering how well it does with plants, you may be familiar with the charts that you see on lighting systems indicating its color spectrum and how intense each of the spectrum of each color is. If I can get my camera to just focus real quick, there we go. That should give you a rough idea on how well to do with certain plants. But that's if you're a plant guy. Not everyone has a bunch of plants in their tank. I sure don't. I like the Finex Stingray so much, I actually have three of them. One is on my 30-gallon breeder. As you see right here, this is a 36-inch model. Runs about 17 watts. Very power efficient compared to fluorescent tubes. Down here, I have my secondary tank, which my shrimp and snails grow in. And this is a 20-inch version. Very similar to the larger versions, just in a more compact size, meaning it's just overall length is shortened. Has less LEDs, and thus burns less power. 20 inch version here runs at about 10 watts. And I even have a 12 inch version for my 2.5 gallon tank upstairs. So, quite frankly, the durability of this little light bar is uh, impressive. I goofed pretty badly one day and while I was cleaning I took the top, my versa top off, it fell in the water and I thought oh no that is not good. Water and electricity just does not mix very well. So I took it out, turned it on and what do you know it still worked. But when I turned it off, the red lights wouldn't turn off, and I thought, okay, that's not what I wanted. So I unplugged it, 
put it to the side for a day or two, let it dry off and dry out on internally. Plugged it back in, tried it, and what do you know? It's as good as new. Try doing that with a fluorescent system. Not gonna happen. Uh, you know, the, the camera simply does not do justice to how bright this is. It makes everything in the aquarium pop. Those extra colored LEDs give that little bit of contrast that really makes everything just look so absolutely wonderful. It's really basic, but that's good. Because if you're just getting into the aquarium game, it makes it a very affordable piece to help your first aquarium start to pop and start to make you realize that water inside of a tank is more than just about the fish. It's about the little decorations and the little details. And you don't get to see those little details unless you have a light. And the quality of your light does matter. Your little fishy buddies need to have their circadian rhythm, so they need to have a light. It helps them see what they're doing, and more importantly, helps you see what you're doing. Everything from cleaning the tank to just watching your little fishy buddies swim around, the light makes so much of a difference. Finex did a fantastic job at making a good price to performance LED light bar. I love it. I, re I recommend it to anyone who's not looking for a complex setup, who just wants the basic stuff. If you want to do something a little more with it, you can go on Amazon, buy a digital timer, set the timer so that it turns the light on and off at certain times of the day, therefore solidifying a nice healthy circadian rhythm for your fish. So, with that being said, I approve. I like it. I recommend it. I hope you guys enjoy the review. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, show your friends, check out my other videos. I got plenty of them. And as always, I will see you next time.